the $90 million mega mansion, Woolworths Mansion. The market for multi-million dollar homes has been picking up recently, but this is unusual. A mansion built in the early 1900s for a daughter of dime store magnet Frank Winfield Woolworths is on the market for $90 million. It is also available to rent for $210,000 per month. Mr Woolworths built three homes for his daughters on East 80th Street at numbers 2, 4 and 6. The family of fitness entrepreneurs, Lucille Roberts, who lived there when she died in 2003, is selling the middle one, a 35-foot wide French Gothic townhouse with a limestone front and more than 18,000 square feet of room. Frank Winfield Woolworths, the proprietor, was an American entrepreneur and the founder of the F.W. Woolworths Company, which operated a chain of five and dime stores that sold a variety of low-cost items. Rather than negotiating, he pioneered the now common practice of buying things directly from manufacturers and putting the selling price on them. He was also the first to deploy self-service display cases, which allowed clients to view products without the assistance of a salesperson. The internal areas of the mansion, which the owners refurbished in a pre-war manner, provide a feeling of vast scale according to the listing, which is handled by Paula Del Nanizo of Brown Harris Stevens. The Woolworths Mansion could be the location for you if you are seeking for a very good New York townhouse rental for about $150,000 per month. And you think that's a good deal? The month rent for the 1916 home was $210,000 but it recently dropped to 150 k You can also buy it for $90 million if you think renting is a terrible investment. By pioneering the five and dime store idea in the late 1800s, Frank Winfield Woolworths became a retail behemoth. He reacted to his new wealth in the same way that others of his generation had, by erecting iconic houses. Wealth was expressed loudly and boisterously in those days, with the newly wealthy competing to build the most magnificent estates. The majority of these opulent houses have been destroyed by fires, demolished or transformed as condos or businesses, although a few remain as single-family homes. And a handful, such as the Woolworths Mansion, have been restored to its full pre-war grandeur and are better than new. The seven-storey, 30-foot wide limestone palace boasts 18,000 square feet, 10 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. A panelled library, a dining room with seating for 50 people, a suite of offices and a gym are among the other amenities. He constructed three palaces for his three daughters. The Woolworths Mansion is no longer the most expensive property in New York, but it is still the most expensive single-family home in the city. Thanks to a recent sale in New York's now under construction 157 condos for over $90 million and another unit offered for $100 million. The Woolworths Mansion's original astonishing rental fee of $210,000 per month has just been reduced to $150,000 per month, expanding the possible rental client base from a few select billionaires to a few more. Certain for sale properties quickly come to mind when it comes to insanely priced real estate. The $125 million Fleur de Lis mansion in Los Angeles, the $90 million Woolworths mansion in Manhattan, the $75 million Tranquility Estate in Lake Tahoe, the $74 million Spec Home in Palm Beach, and of course, the $85 million Spelling Manor in LA. Two more huge homes have been added to the list. Goldwood House and Rose Terrace are two mansions that are expected to cost between $75 million and $100 million each. The houses, which are based on two famous turn-of-the-century American estates, will be among the world's largest single-family homes. Goldwood House is a massive 107,000 square foot mansion worth an estimated $100 million. It is based on Elkins Park, Pennsylvania's iconic Linwood Hall, a 110-room abandoned neoclassic house that has stood derelict and has been subject to legal fights for decades. Rose Terrace is a $75 million building that spans over 65,000 square feet and is modelled after the demolished White Marsh Hall Beau Arts Mansion. Why is it likely that this is the first time you've heard of these monstrosities? Because they haven't been constructed yet. 
We're attempting to sell the construction documents and we're hoping a client would be interested in buying something really special. Michael Freiland, the developer and brains behind the high-end developments, explains. He was inspired by billionaire Ira Rennert's $200 million Fairfield mansion in Sagaponak, New York, as a Finland-based rookie to the world of ultra-luxury real estate. I reasoned that if he's creating something so massive, there might be a market for other individuals who want to create the same grand scale. Freiland, unlike most spec house developers, isn't putting up the money to build these homes up front. Instead, he's selling the two sets of plans without the land, but with a staff ready to build them. That is all for today, folks. See you soon with another amazing video.